This kid is sneaking around like a spy. He's getting the best out of these grown-ups at every single turn. He wears these men out for like an hour and a half. Ooh. It's great. And just like that, it turns sexy. Yeah, I was wow. like, where is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or my head went too. I was like, oh. <laughs> What is up, everyone? We are the three, five, five. <laughs> four, squad. squad. Oh my gosh, party! And we are here today to talk about the best movie on the face of the earth, Elf, and why it is the best Christmas movie. Um, so yeah, welcome, welcome, everyone. No, what are we doing today, guys? I don't. Yeah, <laughs> that's not what we're doing. We're here to debate which. Movie is the best Christmas movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> which is Elf. Happy holidays. Happy hol Merry Christmas. This is coming out Christmas Day. This is our <laughs> Christmas Day video. It's me. It's Bukola. It's Tiana. It's Kyle. It's Mindy. It's the whole. It's like it's like a whole party up in here, and we are about to debate the best Christmas movie, which again is Elf. Are you all ready? Yes. Yes. Ready. Yes. yes. All right. Ready. Here. We go. Hello, everyone, and welcome With the to the least my Christmassy <laughs> color palette I've ever seen in my life. First of all, I could not find a Christmas theme, and I just made this PowerPoint. Anyway, anywho, welcome, guys. I'm here to talk to you about Elf, the best holiday movie in the world. I mean, come on, look at my shirt. For those of you who don't know me, <laughs> hey, my name is Kendall. I'm from the best city in the world, Chicago, Illinois. I like games, I like musical theater, I like candy, I like soccer and basketball, but most of all, I love Elf. Hello, my name is Bacola, please do not at me. Now, welcome to our Teddy Talk, it's a soft version of a TED Talk. So I think the best new age uh, Christmas film is Noel on Disney+. Plus. This is supposed to be best Christmas film, not a new age Christmas film. <laughs> okay. Well, and then it's the best Christmas film because let's be honest, we got to start moving into where we are now. If everything old was the best, then none of our beautiful faces would be able to show up in it. So I'm going to say what I said, what I said, and I'm still sticking with it. So allow me, if you will, to put on Santa's jacket and take the reins because the Santa Claus with an E is obviously the best. Christmas movie for, I mean, the first reason is the title is a pun. Not only is the title a pun, the tagline, if you read here, Scott Calvin must become Santa, no ifs or ands, just one big butt. That's two puns. That's in, in the one. front. It's in the front. We have to look at, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you so early, uh, Kyle. I just really resent the fact that I have to look at this picture. <laughs> look, I don't, I didn't make it, but it's beautiful. It's not and I have to stars. look at not to be crass, not to be crass, but they were crass in making this picture. This is America's dad. Home improvement was in its peak. I'm I'm pitching um the original TV movie, How the Grinch Stole Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Exhibit A and B. There are two instant classic songs. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Wait, Mindy, are you supposed to be and... presenting a PowerPoint? What? Yeah. Is it not working? No, it's still on the- it Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, <laughs> hang on! Alright, this was the first slide, in case you missed cool. it. Cool. We missed it. <laughs> we missed it! <laughs> <laughs> but the viewers didn't. Alright, so, I am presenting on the holiday classic. And when I say classic, I mean this also inspired a franchise that has two more movies than a Santa Claus. <laughs> Also, but are it's they the, good it's, though? That's not important. Um, <laughs> Home Alone three is when they replaced the whole cast. Yeah, they switched. The I was like, what the they fuck? I was like, the whole franchise. I was like, there's. They did. Macaulay Culkin did decline to come back for the third one. Um, <laughs> also, it's, it's but that's neither here nor there. Um, but this is a class. It's you also huh? really quickly. It's you also using thirty three percent of the slide for me on this slide. <laughs> Hey, well, you could have sent hey, her the photo. I was under a you could have sent her the photo. I got my time. You could have sent her the photo. I mean, first of all, you got fucking Will Ferrell as the, as the lead guy. We love Will. Zoe De Janelle is up in the mix too. Amazing. John Favreau not only does he make a cameo as the doctor, but he's also the director of the movie, and we love John. 
Delightable is great because Anna Kendrick. Look how adorable she is. Now, I, she is America's sweetheart. Love her, love her movies. I would like to challenge the quote that um, Anna Kendrick is America's sweetheart. <laughs> I, like the other people on this panel, uh, haven't seen this movie, like a lot of people watching, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. The movie still may be good, but don't come on here. <laughs> He's America's sweetheart. It's America's sweetheart. Well, what, so who was America's sweetheart? Like freaking Kelly Clarkson. Like Zendaya. Like. Yeah. Or, I, or Kristen I, Bell. Kristen Bell. <laughs> so we have Macaulay Culkin, whose career was um, defined <laughs> by this franchise. <laughs> Has Joe Pesci, who is a, Os I think Oscar winning actor if not oscar nominated actor it has the incredible babe katherine o'hara who is not Catherine. who is a master of comedy even when she's playing the straight man name a better comedy duo than fucking joe pesci and <laughs> not ron howard john mulaney and nick <laughs> hey oh, Beavis and, Butthead. and this is just enforcing that good movies have pun titles uh, <laughs> <laughs> as, as you do hey, wow, wow that is that is effort what, what and dedication. What the fuck am I looking at what, here? I will say all of the other reindeer goes hard too. That was I like I almost <laughs> no lie, almost chose that for this. This this is the original. This started it off and it has spawned two very successful um remakes and a Broadway show, which is I don't know what's going on with that. But it's there and it stars Matthew Morrison. So this movie has <laughs> A lot of emotional weight, there's a lot of gravitas, <laughs> if you will. Uh, in the first 15 minutes, Santa Claus dies, wow. which is heavy for a kid. And it's the first time in recorded history that Santa Claus does die. Do not fact check that. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's a small child there. Yeah. And as a child who watched this, knowing that my father could too kill Santa Claus, <laughs> it's very traumatic. <laughs> However, it also <laughs> opens the door that my dad could be Santa Claus, which is super exciting. Right, it all starts off with our lovely guy named Buddy, and he, you know, finds himself in Santa's bag and transported to the North Pole. Who doesn't want that as a child? I sure wish <laughs> I had that. <laughs> Another reason is Bill Hader. Look at him sop up that whipped cream. I just love Bill Hader. That this is the picture that you chose. This is the picture that I chose. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's looking delicious. All right, he can kill people and bury and still be Santa in this movie. Boom cat. That's it's not just about the holiday in itself. It's about the people that are involved in the holidays. It's about family. Um, it's about Bill Hader. Bill Hader going to like Santa Fe, New Mexico, because he doesn't want to be Santa anymore. And then Anna's like, we got to get him back. That he runs away to Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, sorry, Santa Fe, Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix Arizona. Arizona. Don't come for, don't come for Arizona like that. They didn't have to do this. He goes to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe, New Mexico. And really finds that where his where his gifts lie is in spiritual spirituality. Becoming Santa, Tim Allen uh, learns that the the importance is that you believe. It doesn't matter what if you, maybe he's real, maybe he's not, but if you believe he's real, that's what makes him real. And that is what jades the adults. And I choose to believe that Santa is real. Yeah, listen, to this day. I believe And I will hear nothing to the contrary. Yep, I agree with you, Kyle. You know, seeing isn't belie believing isn't seeing. Seeing, is be seeing isn't believing. No, believing almost. is seeing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the. Listen, seeing isn't believing. I believe in believing you. is seeing. Believing is seeing. Just take that with you. That's right. I don't. This movie is actually not Santa centered because the Christmas, the, the, the strength that the holiday gives you, the love for your family comes from within. Santa Claus is an, it's a nice fiction. It's a nice, you know, it makes you feel good as a kid. <laughs> You know, it's, it's all very, very nice. But the, but you know, the sad reality is that he isn't real. And a lot of kids what? have to go what? through, are have to have a what? very traumatic moment. I wow. know. Take it back. Stop I it. know. Tiana, wow. <laughs> Santa is real. Seeing is believing is seeing. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So two instant classics. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. And the Fahu Forest, Dahu Doris songs. 
and he has a tragic backstory that is not further explored here, but still understandable. You can <laughs> you can see it on the surface, and you can relate to it. Look at these I'm over it pictures. Don't we all feel like this, especially this year? He's over here, he gets to learn the ways of the elf, and you know, that's, you know, he's cultured, he's experienced, he gets to be human and elf, which is uh, fantastic. <laughs> My favorite slide, there's three pictures of him because he's so beautiful. Kingsley is a new English actor. He's not that new, actually, but he is so delicious looking. He's in this movie. He plays a young dad. He's just adorable, and he doesn't he have the Christmas cute. spirit. And, you know, just giving him the Christmas spirit was, like, so wonderful. It sparked an entire franchise, including a perfect sequel, The Santa Claus okay. 2. <laughs> and perfect. a third movie that people also watch. <laughs> uh, he, he, he overhears two elves talking about like he's human and then he can't believe it. But that just shows how pure and how awesome this man is as an elf. And also, I'd like to point off right here, directing style. And how easy to trick. Real easy to trick. He's just, he's naive. <laughs> he, he's childlike. He shows and embodies the joy and wonder of Christmas, which is why he is amazing. I want to just also point out in this lovely photo, um, John Favreau directed. They did so many forced perspective and beautiful cinematography and shots in this movie too. Kevin shouldn't have been banished up to the attic. That's why they forgot him. It's okay. My dad, I had to take my siblings to school one time and he fully left them at home while he drove to the school. So it happens. It is a magic wish fulfillment movie without having to be Santa centered. Kevin's straight and so up we committing these... murder. That's, we're looking at murder right here. We're just looking at, we're looking at murder. <laughs> what did they die? die? <laughs> what did they die? <laughs> there is a slide where a man is a skeleton. So maybe. Hey, okay, but he lived. He lived through that. And you know what? They were stronger. They were stronger criminals for it because they did come back in the second movie. Does uh does Anna Kendrick sing in this movie? She does, no, she only sings a little bit. It's like she calls a, a snowball. That seems like a missed opportunity to have Anna Kendrick That's true. named Noel and not sing. That is true. Yeah, she does sing a little bit. He does all the things, all right? He makes and creates so many different foods this too. Is, this is why you like no, this no, no. movie. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is these are iconic and classic scenes. <laughs> Spaghetti is basic. You could actually put spaghetti on anything, so this is not a bad idea. It's a terrible That's idea. That's not true! <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's a terrible idea. Um, and then at the very end, you can see, look at all of that Christmas spirit lifting up that heavy sleigh of toys. <laughs> That's that's what you want to see as a child. That's what you happens when your heart goes. Go grows. into this magical world. No, yes, exactly. <laughs> so it happens when you're so filled with Christmas spirit. You can that lift your a sleigh, kids. Three sizes. <laughs> Don't try that. My yes. grandfather's heart was three <laughs> times his size, and he died because of it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to call the police, Kevin. Kevin had the phone, and he said, "No, I'm going to electrocute and flamethrower them instead." <laughs> The phone? Okay, but this is an example, this is a perfect example of why we don't need the police. We need our own community. We need a community that knows how to keep itself safe. We all need to have a flamethrower attached to our doors. <laughs> he didn't just have a flamethrower, like he rigged this up. This kid, is, this child he is a did. genius. And it shows other children, here's what you're, ca like it's teaching children to engineer their own safety. Death traps. Death it's great. Okay, but yeah, if people death are trying trip. to get into your home and they're trying to rob you and they're trying to murder you, yeah, death traps. Max the dog is adorable. He gets into all kind of shenanigans. He humanizes the Grinch. Crudy, you see this whole fucking stick attached to Max's head? You see what that no, stick Max... attached to Max's head? You see how the Grinch was having him Max has a life? wonderful life. Uh uh. Look at how happy Max is. Look at him. He his, his tail in the sewing <laughs> machine. He's so, he's so, he's so, look at that smile. He's just up to shenanigans. As you can see, this creepiness chart, uh, Buddy the Elf is quite low. Elf on the Shelf leads at uh, 90, at over 90% creepiness, <laughs> followed by Clay Aiken, surprisingly. Don't, don't <laughs> Why is Clay Aiken on this list? Oh, no. I found it from the, I found it on the internet. Not only did it make 220 million in box office, ka-ching, ka-ching, not only did it do that, it got an 84% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is a strict rating site. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes, 84%, maybe not the best, 
I will point to you my competition so as oh we can see. God. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> How dare you? I will, I will point to oh, you. Oh, no. The sand. The, I do my research. The Santa Claus, 72% on Rotten Tomatoes. Noel, uh, 53. Yeah, the Grinch had a score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, but the, I will digress that it was made in 1966. So, and again, when you look up How the Grinch Stole Christmas, it's a 1966 animated television special. I like to highlight television special. So, this was not in the original presentation, but I thought I would throw it in there after earlier comments. <laughs> the definition of movie is a story or event recorded by a camera as a, ser as a set of moving images and shown in a theater or on television, a motion picture. So, clearly, um, the TV movie, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, would qualify, but... Now that's out of the way. Okay. It's packaged well. It's 26 short minutes, but it's 26 minutes of pure joy. And, you know, if you don't need two hours to tell a story, I say don't use the two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. If, uh, he's getting down. He's getting the saws and shit. He's rewiring his whole house. He's got his brother's tarantula. He knows what's up. He knows Santa's not coming down the chimney tonight. It's all, it's all on him. <laughs> He's like, Kevin McAllister is like, if you put Rick and Morty in the same body. Yeah. But gave him a little bit more empathy. <laughs> also just like, look at the prop work of this movie. You know, it wasn't what, just- a skeleton with a shirt on? It's not, it's not cheesy CGI that they did some real cinema movie magic here <laughs> with this fucking skeleton. <laughs> It's just a prop skeleton with a jacket on, Tiana. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the smartest answer is the simplest answer. So that was what brings me to the main reason why I think this is the best Christmas movie is because, spoiler alert, <laughs> there's a female identifying Santa. And that is not, and that is something that I haven't seen in any other movie and probably any other movie that you guys are gonna bring up. She's doing well and she's thriving and this is her gift and her passion and it's just, it's so, it's, I think it's the little things that I love about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was from 1994, so do all the jokes hold up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. If you get past some stuff, it's still pretty funny. And at, I mean, at the end of the day, what else do you want from a Christmas movie? It's got heart, it's got laughs, it's got uh, David Krumholtz, it's got, uh, <laughs> uh a, a girl who's obsessed with hot chocolate. I rest my case. Yeah. Oh, thank oh. you, Kyle, for all these wonderful slides. Um, I I like how none of them showed me anything about the movie itself. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It came out in the nineties. After he sees spoiler alert that the Who's in Whoville still have a great Christmas, he realizes that maybe Christmas he thought doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And that really is, that's the essence of Christmas, you know? Mm -hmm. Also, Cindy Lou Who is adorable, and she's a great character in any rendition of this story. <laughs> Comment the Grinch down below. It's not about presents. It's not about Santa. It's about, it's about protecting, protecting what you have in here. Protecting your family's homestead. Thank you. Just, when they get home, they just gotta clean up their whole house, rebuild <laughs> the walls, put up the new plaster, fix the thing with the That's door, true. So Kevin destroyed. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Bodies. These people's. Have you seen these people's fucking house? They can afford it. You know, as a as a movie buff and as a scholar, I know how to acknowledge that not all movies are perfect. And Elf does have one big flaw: that it's in uh, New York <laughs> instead of Chicago. <laughs> uh, and that's, oh, that's which you did flaw, not type out. Which is the big which is the big flaw. If it was set in Chicago, that's that's the perfect movie. But I will accept it. It being in New York, it's still the best holiday movie. But it's still the best movie, and thank you guys so much. I yield my time. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>